Professor Clements with you as we consider magnetic force, magnetic force on a moving charged particle. And in this problem, we're to calculate the force on a proton. The proton is moving in a horizontal direction towards the west. Its uh, speed is 1.7 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. We're going to assume the magnetic field is horizontal and the magnetic field is headed towards the south. The strength of the magnetic field is 0 0.07 Teslas. There's two parts to calculating this uh, uh, answer. One part is the strength of the force. For the size of the force, we use F equals Q, the charge, times the velocity, actually just the speed number, times the strength of the magnetic field, and times the sine of the angle in between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. So this will give us the strength of the magnetic force. The charge, the velocity in meters per second, the magnetic field in Teslas, and then we have to account for a factor. The sine of the angle, theta is the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. For the direction, we will use the right hand rule. Uh, the right hand rule I prefer is to start with my fingers in the direction of the velocity, the first vector, rotate my wrist until I can easily turn my fingers to point in the direction of the second vector, and then my thumb will show the direction of force on a positive particle. Let's do the uh, force magnitude first. Well, in looking at this, the velocity is towards the west, the magnetic field is towards the south, there's 90 degrees between these two, so theta is 90 degrees, and I know that sine of 90 degrees is 1. So I won't have to worry about this sine factor. So let's calculate the strength of the force. We're dealing with a proton, so we have 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. That's the charge on a proton. We're told the speed of this proton, 1.7, 10 to the sixth meters per second. And we're told the strength of the magnetic field, 0 0.07 Teslas. And again, we, I'm going to ignore the factor of 1. In this particular problem, the sine of theta evaluates to 1 because the velocity and the magnetic field are perpendicular to each other. Well, we can uh, easily plug this into a calculator, and what I came up with was 1.9 times 10 to the minus 14 newtons. That's the magnitude of the force. You should pause and do this calculation on your own calculator and see if you produce that number. Then the right hand rule. Right hand rule. Well, we start with our fingers in the direction of the velocity, which would be west. I rotate the, my right hand until I can point my fingers easily into the south direction. So rotate wrist. And what I find is my thumb is pointed upwards. My thumb being perpendicular to my fingers. That's the way you should open up your hand and you'll find your thumb points up. That will be the direction of the force. Force is a vector, so we have a uh, direction to account for there. So, sort of related question, uh, what if the magnetic field, the magnetic field vector, again was 0 0.07 Teslas, and it's directed to the west instead of south? How does that change the analysis uh, for this problem? Magnetic field is 0 0.07 Teslas directed towards the west. Well, as I inspect things here, if I make another drawing, here's our proton. The velocity vector is still to the west. The magnetic field vector is to the west. And the angle between these two vectors is zero. They're parallel to each other. They're both directed towards the west. If I evaluate the sine of zero degrees, do that in a calculator, you find it is zero. So I have a situation, force is Q, V, B, sine theta. 
And in this problem, the sine theta factor is a zero. Consequently, the force is zero. There is no magnetic force if the charged particle is moving in the same direction as the magnetic field. You should keep practicing with that and uh, watch some more videos.